Some youth delegation have commended President Bola Tinubu's choice of President of the Senate of the 10th National Assembly. They said the choice will help the President seamlessly deliver on his mandate of renewed hope to Nigerians. Helen Osamada Akins reports. The emergence of President Bola Tinubu is one many Nigerians have looked forward to because they believe he has the capacity to restore the country to its past glory. Many believe that for him to deliver on his renewed hope promise to Nigerians, he must appoint Nigerians who are credible and believe in his vision for the country. This youth delegation from the six geopolitical zones of the country commend the president and the ruling party's choice of Senate presidents and deputy Senate presidents. They believe that with their past antecedents, they will support the president in delivering his promises to Nigerians. As the 10th National Assembly prepares to resume and choose their leaders, the call on the newly elected senators and their counterpart in the Green Chamber to vote the president's choice for a better Nigeria. Having played a series of private role in advocating for interests of Nigeria cut across all regions and worked tirelessly to promote the peace and security unity among Nigeria has what it has taken to deliver and as well enough capable of being our next Senate President of Nigeria. To the Christian from the South-South, and you may also recall that this is the first time we had the highest number of votes in the South-South. This is as a result of the effort put in place by Senator Godswill Akpabio and his likes in the region. And so we have to pay them back for the effort they have done to the party and for the mandate of renewed hope led by Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Even though the presidents and the All Progressives Congress have expressed their preference for Koswila Pabio and Baro Jubri to be the next Senate presidents and deputy Senate presidents respectively, some senators have insisted on contesting the position. Heli Osamedei Kings, TVC News, Abuja.